Hello, everyone. I am Kentia Smith. I am the NC Realtors Housing Foundation Director. I am pleased to be here and join you in another series through the foundation. As you know, we've been releasing videos for our Meet Our 2024, where we showcase our NCR local association presidents for 2024. Our new series, and I'm excited to be doing, is something that has been so said that we should do for a long time, and that is interview our directors. We have some amazing directors here on the foundation. And so we want to start a series of Meet Our Foundation, where we interview all the directors. So I have the great pleasure of interviewing the 2025 president and the current 2024 president-elect, Sean Knopf. Mr. Sean, thank you so much for doing this interview with me. I truly appreciate it. Thank you very much for the opportunity, Kintia. So I always like to start off with the question, are you an NC native? I am actually not a native of North Carolina. Um, okay. I'm originally a native of Virginia, um, the eastern shore of Virginia's peninsula, very rural area. Um, but I've actually graduated high school my senior year from a high school in North Carolina. So I've pretty much been in the state since then. So even though I'm not an original North Carolina native, North Carolina is also considered home. Oh, yeah, I feel the same way. I feel the same way. So I know you are not quite in real estate. You are actually in banking. But I always want to know, was that your first career choice or did you have something else you wanted to do when you were first starting your path to wanting to be a professional? Actually, believe it or not, I actually wanted to be a pharmacist. Um, really? <laughs> but, you know, just just that being a dream. And what happened is when I um, finished college, I actually was given the opportunity to obtain a temporary job mm -hmm. and that temporary job, basically they picked 30 of us to do a temporary assignment. And after 90 mm -hmm. days, they only selected 15 of us. And I was fortunate enough to be in that number of 15, which was involved in a mortgage operations department. Mm -hmm. um, and then at that point, when I purchased my first home, sitting mm -hmm. across the desk from a mortgage lender, mm -hmm. once I finished signing all the paperwork, I told my wife, I was like, I think I can do that job. And the rest is history. That is awesome. That is so awesome. What was the first job you did with the 30 people? Who was that with? So that was actually with First Union. Um, wow. That was way back when. So telling my age a little bit, but, <laughs> you know, before all the mergers. But it was a great opportunity to learn basically um, the operation side. So I honestly you know, definitely appreciate that because it's given me a lot of information and allowed me to be successful in my current career. And I know you're with North State Bank, who has been a great sponsor for us uh, since you joined the bank, but what is your official title with North State? So my official title is Community Mortgage Manager. Okay. Uh, and basically what it is, is, you know, I have a team of loan officers that we focus on helping the community, um, whether it be through partnerships with local HUD counseling agencies, city organizations, um, you know, local organizations to be able to spread the news um, that home ownership, you know, is an opportunity that every individual really should experience in my eyes. That is, that is awesome. So I always want to know what made you want to get on the foundation board? Um, what led you to being on the board and to now being their president-elect? How did that start? So with the foundation, um, you know, basically I learned about the foundation through the down payment assistance that the foundation actually um, yes. gives to individuals that are eligible. Um, as I mentioned, I do a ton of community outreach. So mm -hmm. on a daily basis, I see a lot of individuals that need additional assistance for various reasons. Mm -hmm. And to be able to be part of a foundation um, and given the opportunity to connect with like-minded individuals um, and organizations that align with my passion, which is to help low to moderate income families, mm -hmm. uh, to be part of that and being able to obtain that American dream of home ownership is priceless. So that's really, you know, what attracted me to the foundation. And I am thankful for that opportunity. That is awesome. And I think what I love and I think what made our president, Mark, really want to pick you is you are housing related, but you're bringing a whole new perspective when it comes to us trying to transition and definitely reach out to a public sector. Because like you said, working with different homeowners, you meet a lot of people. And then when you are a connector of resources, you meet a lot of people. So I just think that is awesome. And I love what you are bringing to the foundation. 
I always ask the question, what is it you want people to know about the foundation? Um, I would say to, to let everyone know that we care. Um, mm -hmm. you know, there is so much work that needs to be done. And we're locked in right now with a strategic plan to mm -hmm. make an impact. Mm -hmm. um, with most foundations, we need support. Um, yes. You know, that support can come, but it comes through our fundraising efforts, mm -hmm. our education, our community-based initiatives. Um, we just need others to stand behind our mission and support us because we are truly here for the community. Mm -hmm. There's so much work that's been done already, but mm -hmm. there's also so, so much work that needs to be done. I don't think I could have answered that any better. I feel the same way. I think people need to know that we are putting their dollars to work no matter what we do. And I really think people really should realize that we care. We are out here trying to do whatever we can. And you said it perfectly, whether it's be an education, public forums, you know, doing our full house bills with our community partners. I think that is wonderful. So, Mr. Sean, another question I like to ask is, which of the foundation's goals or initiative do you like the most or that you're most proud of? So I love the 100 Homes and 100 Counties initiative. Um, it's a five-year plan, basically, in which a foundation has made a pledge to support an affordable housing project in all 100 NC counties. Um, because it's just such an impactful initiative because affordability in today's market doesn't really mean affordable. So when we are working with local agencies to either build new affordable homes or even just providing funding to a home in need of repairs, mm -hmm. um, it's just something like that just, you know, it makes such an impact. And you just don't realize, you know, how impactful that may be, you know, on an individual or a family. So that's why it's probably one of my most favorite. I had the opportunity when we were doing the first home built in Alexander to see it from, um, start to finish and maybe it was also because I'm visually impaired it was just always every time I went and I seen the progress of the house even being blind like seeing what I could see it was like a amazing feeling but the most I think the most appreciative thing I could say is the day the family got the home the mm -hmm. mother had not told the child that they were getting a new home because she didn't want something to happen and so that day was the first time the child knew about the home and actually was moving into her bedroom. And to be a part of that and to know what this foundation did it, that that right there was an amazing, amazing thing to be part of. So I agree with you wholeheartedly, Mr. Sean, that the 100 Homes is an amazing and it's a bold initiative because it lets you know, you know, we can't do everything, but we're going to try at least touch every county. So I agree wholeheartedly. And then I always ask in with a question that they weren't prepared for. And so it's usually something related to the time. As we transition to spring, what makes you feel that spring is coming? Uh, what gets you geared up for the summer and really ready to, you know, enjoy this transition of weather from fall to winter to spring to summer? I mean, it just it's just really uh, definitely the, the longer days. But, you know, just being able to come out, hear the birds singing, um, <laughs> you know, coming home in the afternoon, hear, hear a lawnmower going. Yeah. Um, those things right there, you know, it just makes you brighten up a little bit. Um, <laughs> yeah. Nothing wrong with the other seasons. No, no, I love them all. It's just something about transitioning to that spring to summer. Um, it's just a beautiful time. It's just, you know, just an opportunity because I'm an outdoors person. So yeah. just giving me the opportunity to, you know, get outside and refresh a little bit and reset and get ready for, you know, exciting things to come. Well, I couldn't believe it. Because I, and it's nice to get off work and it's still daytime and, you know, you can still do something. I truly appreciate you. I think you are an amazing director. I think you are going to be a remarkable president. I think Mark Lindsay, our current president, did a phenomenal job selecting you. And I want to thank you so much for doing this interview with me. Thank you very much. I'm excited and for this opportunity, as well as the foundation's goals um, that we have coming up. Thank you.